Now I seem to have lost my husband. So, oh, boob shot. <laughs> you loser. Gut's got a brand new combine harvester. Basically, grew a child and um, cleaned the house. Hello, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm back in the animal print and a buglet is filling it up nicely tonight as are my boobs. We are uh, gonna have an early dinner, it's 10 past five, because this evening we are going to a preview night of the Ivy restaurant, Ivy Brasserie, which is opening up in Norwich. I think it opens up to general public in a week, um, but we are going tonight for a little sneaky, sneaky preview. I'm taking Scott with me, and got some friends and fellow vloggers and vloggers gonna be there, so we're looking forward to it. Yes, we are eating first because we are piglets. Also, any uh, garden people out there, why has our indoor plant got mushrooms? I don't like the look of those, they look dot odge. Little outdoor seating area. It's so cute. Oh, and zooms in, zoom out. So that was a little sneak peek into the Ivy in Norwich, which is on London Street. It's the old Gap, which was very nice. The canapes, the canapes, were very tasty. Scott, how was the champagne in the beer? Uh, champagne was great, beer was mm, warm. Um, <laughs> was however, it? yeah, it was, wasn't That's particularly cold. Um, but the cana canapes were the canapes. amazing, yeah. Um, yeah. Had some lobster, which I didn't expect to eat tonight, which is fantastic. And you had the first um, time caviar. caviar. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, it was really tasty. So they're opening for breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, afternoon tea, all of that uh, next week, I think. Good morning, just sat in my car. Uh, between meetings dreaming of the creme brulee donuts that I had at the Ivy last night. I think I may have had four little fatty fatty boom boom. Um, it was really nice. The staff, oh, I thought I had a vibration then. No vibrations. Uh, the staff in the Ivy are lovely, really, really pleasant, really just attentive and nice. So I'm actually looking forward to going there for a proper meal for uh, breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea, brunch, and dinner. Please, Scott, all of the above. Not in one day, though. Anyway, I don't know if I said, but I have a bit of a situation where some complete a hole has managed to get hold of my domain, lauraellenwright.com. And in order for me to get it back, GoDaddy wants to charge me, I think it's 50 or 60 pounds, to approach this company um, that basically buys domains to sell back to you at an extortionate rate. So, in order to get it back, I have to pay. GoDaddy are the 50, 60 quid. They then approach this company, negotiate a price that I then have to pay on top of the 50, 60 for my domain to have it back, and GoDaddy then get a commission out of that. What the F? Oh, so it's really stressing me out because my website is not working at the moment, which, um, yeah, just pretty peeved about to be honest. Um, but I have, I could move it over to lauraellenwright.co.uk but it's a bit of a mouthful .com sounds a bit slicker um, and, and what else would they use that domain for apart from to try and sell it back to me pretty sure that is a bit of a sleazy dick move there um, but yeah not quite sure what to do need to sort it out though because now they're having no website um, anyway I'm going to crack on with more work and um, might go and do a bit of a shoot tonight with Laura and Shelley uh, to get some outfit shots. Not that I've got anything that fits. And in all the pictures, I'm just gonna look like a beached whale, so. Not really sure if I'm keen on it, but I'll go anyway, see what they come out like. So what an absolute idiot. I've come into the city to meet Lauren Shetty to do some shooting. So I'm an hour early. So I now have an hour to kill. Shopping. Yeah. 
morning. It is super early. I've got up early and I've come to Aldi before work. I haven't even done my hair or anything um, because it's uh, the baby event or something. So basically all the nappies, everything is like super cheap. So I'm just, I'm just looking for a pound coin. Um, I'm gonna have a little bit of a, a shop in here and they had some Moses baskets for like 30 quid, which is a super bargain for a Moses basket. Um, so we're gonna go, say we, I'm by myself and my bag. Um, I'm going to go and take a quick look in here. I'm hoping it's not going to be like Black Friday. Um, okay, so I'm going to go see what I can find. Uh, and then with back home, get changed, do my hair and go to work. Anybody would think there is a baby on its way in this house. This is everything I got from Aldi this morning. A very, very brief run through. Moses basket. Absolutely shed loads of um, baby wipes. Little travel baby wipes. A cute little light up. Well, light. <laughs> Um, that changes colour and you touch it and stuff for the baby's room. It's a little bear. It's really cute. I like him. Uh, some more newborn nappies. Uh, like a little milestone thing to take pictures of and stuff for memories. A V-shaped pillow. That was a fiver, guys. So I haven't taken it out yet. I'll have a look at it tonight. So that hopefully will be quite comfortable for me at the moment. Two packets of dribble bibs. Um, we're kind of kind of had to buy them gender neutral because we don't know what we're having so I got those disposable breast pads which scare me a little bit not as much as this though don't even know what we need that for but I bought some so it was like 49p um, nappy cream stuff to wash the baby clothes in baby powder oh I got this which I thought was quite cute it's like a little nappy changing bag you just unroll it, you put your little wipes in there and everything. Then that bit is where you change all the smelly old diapers. So I've got that. Picked up, what did I get here? Oh yeah, some sleep suits. So I've got some newborn ones, uh, some not the three months, then some slightly funner ones for three to six months. Also bought some body, I don't know what you put on a baby. So body suits, again, newborn. 0 to 3, 3 to 6. Then I got uh, a packet, two packets of muslin. So I think I've got plenty of those now. Also, um, a fitted sheet to go uh, on the bedside crib, which my friend Kat is lending me. And I got, look at these, two packs of baby leggings. So those ones are kind of 0 to 3, they're tiny, then 3 to 6. And then some little t-shirts to go with it. So they're really, really cute. I like those a lot. So they're the first kind of things we've bought. So I need to go find a home for all of this now in the nursery. But really pleased, that was like so, so cheap. Yeah, they're right. Oh. That's like, no, we're doing. I thought they'd be like, no. Yeah, I know it looks all right. Have you got another one strip? Just this. Day in the album club. <laughs>
quite the productive day today. All the housework has been done, so the house is sparkly and clean. And um, I snoozed, I watched two movies, I ate and I snoozed again. So productivity on all levels, basically grew a child and um, cleaned the house. It's my friend Louise's birthday uh, on Tuesday, so a few of us girls are going to Zach's tonight for dinner, so looking forward to that. Might have myself a bit of a dirty old cheeseburger, hoping for starters and most certainly hoping for dessert. So I'm wearing uh, the old stretchy top. This bra is not doing good for my boobs. The other two are in the wash, but it will have to do. These little monkeys are popping up everywhere. Why? Why are there so many shrooms in my house? Now I seem to have lost my husband. He's got into gaming. Um, literally got home, sloped off down to the study. So, just gonna go and have a look, see where he is. <laughs> you loser. <laughs> is this you now, sloping off down to your weird little den? Oh, look guys, Scott's got a brand new combine harvester. Got, went to, um, I got some soybeans and sold them and got loads of money. I'm going to go back to my farm to get some more soybeans. He thinks he's a farmer now. He's playing, what is it you're called? What's it called? Farm Simulator. <laughs> farm Simulator. Yeah, woohoo! So all of you guys under 40, and this is what happens when you become 40, you just want to drive a tractor yeah, around all day. Really good. All right, I'm off out. Enjoy your evening. Good morning. Today is all go on the garden front. Hold on. Oh. Oh. We are starting the patio. So, oh, boob shot. Scott's just laying all the ballast, all the type one that goes down. Oh, gate slam. Um, and then you can get some concrete down. And then it will be operation slabs. Probably tomorrow. We're just gonna crack on. I've got some repotting of some plants to do. Scott's gonna do that, just gonna crack on today. So I shall update you later. They match your t-shirt. <laughs> you look like you've got a weird bra on your head. You look like a really shit layer. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, yeah. boys have done super well with the uh, patio foundations today. So they've taken the three bags of ballast that arrived the other day and they've popped it all down here and then Scott's on his whacker plate. So tomorrow Scott's going to lay the first slab or two down here somewhere I think. And we've got the rents are coming over for dinner tonight so I've got a roast all prepared over there. I think we're going to just chill out in here for a bit. In fact, where's my phone? Because that is my timer for my roasting. Where's my phone? Ah. I'm just gonna chill out. I started watching Celebrity Big Brother, which I don't think was a good idea because now we are gonna get sucked in. 